When using the vinyl graphic machine, the first thing we're going to want to do is prepare the art. I'm using a Corel Draw right now to do that, but you can use whatever program you uh, you like to use. Um, basically, I already did this art right here, and what I actually did is I took this over and placed it on here. This is how I cut out my vinyl. Um, so I have this at 24 inches, a square box, okay, and then basically what I do is I move these components over to um, over to here and what you want to do is try to make it as efficient as possible so in this case if I was making two of these signs I'd probably put a now leasing underneath and then I just copy this and put this next to it then when they go ahead and make the sign they'll cut this out and put it in the specific spots on the sign I'm not going to actually print this one day because it's a lot of vinyl so let me put that back uh, I do have a small printout that I need to do, so I'm going to show you on that. Again, here's my 24 inch square, and I want to make this sign uh, to 10,000 because it's going to go on a new building. So it's 200 to 10,000 square feet. So I'm going to get this artwork done first. And then what I'm going to do is I just want this wording here. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I, ha I do have two signs, so I could try doing this. Let's make a 24 by 24 box. Oops. And you'll see if I did it this way, it would actually not print out. So I'm going to have to print this the long way. So I'll just duplicate that. And what I'll probably do is look for a smaller piece. Let's get that out of the way. I know it's going to be under 24 inches. So in this case, if you look up here, it's actually going to be about 11 inches. Okay. Now I don't want to export all this. I just want to export that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a new file. Okay. And I'm going to want to export that using an EPS. You can do other uh, exports, but I find out this one works very well. So I'm just going to put that in a temporary folder for now. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put my art folder. I'm going to change this to EPS. I'll just call it a keep popping up. Okay, so now I'm done with this program here. This is the final save for that export. And this is actual cutting program. So this is where you're going to um, use it if someone provides that artwork to you. Basically what you're going to do is import the artwork. In this case I had the, the 200 to 10,000 uh, file there. And you see it came in this way. So this I have this set to the width of the 24 inch vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate that. I hit the shift key to make sure it's at a perfect 90 degree angle. So I'll put that right there. And then you're going to hit cutting. And we'll select, select the printer, which is the Roland. And then you're going to hit uh, rotate. 